this Inaka adventure, I'm going to be searching for Japan's wild fireflies. Then mark the beginning of each summer. Our journey will start in Shiga Prefecture, in Moriyama, just 30 minutes away from Kyoto by train, and near Japan's largest lake. From there, we'll take a short stopover in Omihachiman, a town that I'm quite familiar with, and know a few secret spots to hopefully get some photos of Genji Botaru away from any crowd. And finally, we'll make a quick hop into Gifu Prefecture to look for the Hime Botaru along the beautiful Nagaragawa River. Our journey today begins in Moriyama. This small town in Shiga Prefecture is famous for fireflies and every year holds the Hotoru Matsuri, which is the Firefly Festival. Of course, fireflies only last for about two weeks in the beginning of summer, but Moriyama has really made it a big part of their cultural history. You'll see it on manhole covers and murals and artwork throughout the town. You'll see drawings of school children posted at various places. You'll see signs that say, this river is a firefly river. Keep it clean, they need a nice environment to survive. Now, this little wooded area is just inside the park in Moriyama and doesn't look like much right now, but in a few hours, thousands of fireflies are going to come out as the season begins. I'm here a little bit early. I'm going to set up my camera gear, maybe have a quick snack, and then hopefully I can get some nice images on the first leg of my firefly adventure this year. And there is just so many fireflies here. I've set up my camera. Uh, I don't have any illusions that you can see the fireflies that I can see right now, but I'll, I'll post my long exposure photos here so you can see what it looks like. You might be able to see a few dots, but I am just surrounded by fireflies. There's actually one just flying by me right now. See if I can get it. Maybe not. It's absolutely gorgeous this year. I'm so glad I came. This is actually very close to the city, so it's amazing you can still see something like this. I might head out into the wilderness a bit later in the week to see what I can see, but this so far has been a great start to the firefly season of 2020. So what is up? Today I'm in Omihachiman to look for fireflies in a secret spot that I know about because I used to live in this town for a few years and I love it. There's some great people here, some great places to see. There's old, not quite castle ruins, but it's a moat that was used in the merchant days. And uh, it's actually still quite beautiful and it was used recently to film the live action Ryota Kenshin movies. So I might go check that out because I also heard that there's a new craft brewery there, which is meant to have some pretty good food and beer. So about an hour till sunset, I think I will go have some dinner go out, play with the drone in the evening light, hopefully the fireflies will come out and I'll be able to get some nice shots and then from there I guess we'll see what uh, there is to do. And look at that. I think this is seriously one of the most beautiful places in Japan, just down by the moat. So you can see they actually have these little boats that, I'll just get those in frame, so you have these little boats that you can ride down as a little trip and these used to be used as part of the merchant town. Just seriously beautiful place. I was here in spring with the sakura and that was great but this lush green early summer stuff just looks nice as well. And as luck would have it, just around the corner I found the brewery or at least their restaurant. So there it is, Two Rabbits Brewing Company. So I think it's still open. And it's time to get some to eat. Well, that craft beer is very good. I had some uh, roast beef and some hot chips, and I picked up a couple of, uh, of their coffee imperial stout to take. I might have one tonight you know, while I wait for the fireflies to come out because it's going to be like, I think, another two or three hours. But the sun is just about right, so I'm going to set the drone up and see what I can find. So my uh, return to Omihachiman, the city that I lived in a few years ago, was a bit bittersweet, unfortunately. I had a great evening and a uh, drink at the new pub. But when I got to my secret firefly spot, there was nothing to be there. Uh, and I actually checked it twice uh, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, so it's not that I've missed them. I think that what's happened is the farmland's changing and the water's become murky and it's not as, there's like fertilizers and poison and things in it. Fireflies need really clear, nice uh, water. So it's quite uh, disappointing, unfortunately. And I guess, I know you can't really see anything. Let's see. There's just some wild grass. A lot of it's been cut down and uh, just cleared out. So I guess that's just the way that life changes. Uh, we found a lot of fireflies in Moriyama, which of course was famous for fireflies. And tomorrow I'm going to head up to Gifu to see if I can find the uh, different variant, the Hime Botaru which have a quite a different appearance. So I'll post a picture of what this place looked like uh, a few years ago and what it looks like tonight. 
And I, I gotta say, it's it's just very disappointing. I feel I feel like a little bit of the magic has left the world. Um, the wind's picking up though, so the audio is not gonna be good. I know. I apologize for that. But uh, I guess let's get to it to the next spot tomorrow night. All right. So tonight I'm headed to Gifu to look for the uh, Hime Botsu, which are a little bit different from the Genshi Botsu that I have in. Uh, my area. These ones flash on and off, a bit more like Christmas lights, and they're much more numerous, although uh, I've heard that their habitat's been destroyed in the past uh, a few years, so last time I saw them there were hundreds of thousands of them, so it was amazing. Um, I got, like, the last train, there's nobody else on here, so I can talk freely, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to head in there about midnight. No point in getting a hotel because I'm going to be up all night. Anyway, I'll just try and get all my shots, catch a nice sunrise hopefully on uh, Gifu Castle. Then I can just get the first train and pass out on it until I get to uh, my home. Well, we made it to Gifu. It's about midnight. Uh, streets are pretty empty, obviously. Uh, all things considered. But it's a lovely night, about 20 degrees, and it's about 40, I think 30, 40 minute walk to the first spot, which is along the Gifu Nagaragawa River. So uh, I guess I'll just head out that way. Hopefully I can catch some fireflies before uh, daybreak, which is in about five hours. So let the adventure begin. All right, I have found the Genji Botaru. I'm right now, I'm, it's hard to describe this, but I'm standing in the middle of a bamboo forest. It's pitch black. Uh, you, there's, uh, there's no moon. It's so dark. It's so easy to get lost in here, but I'm just surrounded by these blinking lights of these fireflies and you can see one photo I've taken on the screen. It's, I know it's not in focus, guys. Uh, oh wait, there it goes. Uh, I'll show you some of the final edited photos so you can check those out and uh, you can look at my Instagram for more as well as uh, I will leave a uh, link in the description and a card to how I take photos of these fireflies. So hopefully you can enjoy that if you're into photography. And uh, yeah, hopefully the next spot I go to will be just as good or even better. Well, it's about 5 a.m. It's a beautiful night in the morning, even more beautiful. But I am absolutely knackered. And I'm gonna head back to the station, get to my place and uh, get some rest. Good night though, good night. Hoping the photos turn out pretty good. I think they will. And they did. I was quite happy with the photos I took this year, but let me know what you think. It's always a little bit bittersweet that the season seems to finish just as it begins. It's only about two weeks in June, but if you happen to be in Japan at this time, I definitely recommend searching them out. And if you are, let me know, and I'll see if I can help you find some in your area. And coming up on a NARC adventure, I'm going to be cycling across Japan's largest suspension bridge and what is possibly the world's best cycle course. From there, we'll be traveling to Yakushima, a beautiful subtropical island that is perhaps one of Japan's best kept secrets. Over 40% of Japan's sea turtles lay their eggs here, and if you're there in August, you can see them hatch as well as swim in the beautiful coral reefs. We'll go hiking and see one of the oldest and largest trees on the Jomonsugi hike. Some of them you can even walk inside. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. It's right next to the like button. And until the next episode, peace.